Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 129 and we are on page number 80. Please turn to it, page 80. And before, I, before we get going and before I completely forget it, if you decide that you want to have some more practice, if you want to, if you want to get better prepared, you will find that the solutions to all the problems that appeared in the previous edition, the fifth edition, where does it say somewhere it should say fifth version five, uh, the fifth edition, T is five, you will find the solutions to all the problems that appeared in this problem from day number one through 80. There are no videos from 81 through 100, but day one through 80, you will find it useful because there not, we not only solve the problems, but we also learn some math, uh, some basic math concepts. Whereas in this one, whereas in this book, I'm simply solving the problems one after the other. Anyway, let's get going. Page number 80. On page 80, the concepts that we're going to learn about, the concepts that we're going to discuss are expressions, expressions, equations, and finally, inequalities, 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 I don't know what the hell I was doing. Inequalities. Let's get going, shall we? What is an expression? What is an equation? What is the difference between an expression and an equation? For example, right here it says 2x. That is an expression. It's an expression with only one term. The one term being 2x. That's one term. It's called, it is called a term. It, that expression only has one term. 2 is called the coefficient. Any number that appears in the front is called the coefficient. This is your variable. But this is an expression in its simplest form, 2x. That's it. Now, on the other hand, if you were told 2x equals 6, for example, well, that is no longer an expression. It is a full sentence. A sentence, the equivalent term, the comparable term in the language of mathematics, for a sentence is an equation. An equation is a sentence in the language of mathematics. That's a full sentence. It's an equation. 2x equals 6, which means x must equal 3. That is an equation. This wasn't an equation because it doesn't have an equal sign. An, equal, an equation is so-called, an equation is so-called because it has an equal sign in there somewhere. Let's carry on. Here, here we have an inequality. An inequality. 2x is less than 6 if we were to divide both sides by 2. Whatever we can do, whatever we can do to an equation, we can do to an inequality. If we were to divide both sides by 2, 2's are going to drop out here and we're going to find that x has to be less than 6 over 2 which is 3. So the solution to that inequality, 2x is less than 6, solution, the solution to that inequality is that x has to be less than 3. Whereas the solution to this equation is x is equal to 3. There is no solution here because it's not an equation, it's just an expression. Let's have an expression that's a little bit more complicated. Let's have an expression that is a little bit more complicated. How about 2x plus 3? 2x plus 3 is still an expression, but now it has two terms. 2x plus 3. This is the first term, this is the second term, 2x plus 3. Now, if you introduce an equal sign, 2x plus 3, if your total is equal to 13, that is an equation. That is an equation. Now, if you were given an equation like this, would you know how to solve it? Of course, we know how to solve it. First thing you have to do is bring this 3 to the other side. We subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. If we subtract 3 from both sides of the equation, this 3 from here is going to drop out. I'm going to left with 2x on this side. 2x equals 13 minus 3, which is 10. 
divide both sides by 2 at this point to get rid of this 2 and x will equal 10 divided by 2 which is 5. Let's see if it makes sense. Let's see if it makes sense in the original equation. The original equation told us 2x plus 3 has to equal 13 and we are claiming that in that case x would have to be equal to 5. Let's put it back in the equation see if it makes sense. If we put it back in the equation 2 times x 2 times 5 is 10 10 plus 3 is indeed 13. Now instead of an equation it's instead of an equation we could have had inequality 2x plus 3 is greater than 13. Nothing is going to change the only thing that is going to change is that the solution is going to say now instead of saying x is equal to 5 the solution is now going to say x will have to be more than 5. But the solution is not going to is nothing is going to change. We subtract 3 from both sides, 3 is drop out, 2x has to be more than 13 minus 3 which is 10. We divide both sides by 2, we divide both sides by 2, the 2 cancels out and x has to be more than 5. That is the solution to this equation. Anything more than 5 would satisfy this equation. That's how we speak. Would satisfy this equation. In other, in other words, it would work with the equation. Has, x has to be more than 5. For example, if x is 6, then 2 times 6 is 12, 12 plus 5 is 15, and 50 is 15 on this side is indeed more than 13. But x cannot be 4. It says x has to be more than 5. x cannot be 4 because 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, and 11 is not, 11 is not greater than 13. It is a greater than sign. This is a greater than sign. x has to be more than 5. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's, let's introduce a little bit more complication here. How about if we're going given something like this? This is an expression. Again, it's an expression because it has no equal sign. How many terms does it have? It has two terms. And it is read as it is read as 5 times 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2 is in the parenthesis. The two terms that we're talking about, this is the first term, this is the second term. That 5 in the front means that the entire thing, the entire expression has to be multiplied by 5. And we do so by distributing the 5. This is how we distribute 5 times the first term, 5 times 3 is 15, so we get 15x, and then the plus sign is whatever the sign is going to come down, and then we distribute the 5 to second term, 5 times 2 is 10. So this will boil down to 5x plus 10 or rather 15x plus 10. Now, if we were to introduce an equal sign, if we were to introduce an equal sign, let's say is equal to 13, in which case, in which case, we can find a solution. So first we distribute the 5, we get this one this side, we bring the 13 down, watch what happens, we bring the 13 down, does it say 13? No, it's, it doesn't say 13, 13, I don't know, 13 is from there, that's not what I meant to say. Let's put something else on the other side. How about 13x, 13x plus 24, 13x plus 24. This equation that you see there, 5 times 3x plus 2 equals 13x plus 24. I'm going to put it here once we finish the job, once we finish this thing. Let's see, let's see what's the value of x in this case. So 13x, 13x plus 24 is going to come down. Bring all the variables to the left hand side, bring all the numerical values to the right hand side. We see a 10 here, we need to bring it to the other side. Since it's a plus 10, we want to get rid of it. We get rid of it, get rid of it by subtracting 10 from both sides. Now, the positive 10, the positive 10 and the negative 10 are going to kill each other. They're gone. We also need to bring this 13 next to this side. This 13 next has a plus sign in front of it, even though it's not there. But it's there. When, it, when there is no, no sign in front of something, that's a plus. If we want to get rid of it, we're going to get rid of it by subtracting 13x from both sides. And now, this positive, this positive 13x and a negative 13x, they're going to cancel each other out. Now watch what happens. This is a plus sign. Since there is no sign in front of it, it's positive. 15 minus 13 is 2x. This thing is gone. Equals... 24 minus 10, which is 14. I'm going to bring this 2x closer to equal sign so that it's not 3 miles away. 2x equals 14. Divide both sides by 2. 
and you will find that x is equal to 7. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. And we can put it back in the equation to see if it actually makes sense. Should we do that? Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. I'm not going to actually do out all the thing, but x equals 7 is what we're claiming. If you put it here, you get 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21. 21 plus 2 is 23. So this side we get 5 times 23. Let's see what we get on the other side. Other side it says 13 times 7. 13 times x which will be 13 times 7 plus 24. Now if our solution is correct, these two quantities have to equal to each other. Since we no longer have the room anymore, well, we can do it here. 5 times 23, 23 times 5, 3 fives are 15, 5 carry 1, 2 fives are 10 plus 1 is 11. 100, 115 is what we get here. This quantity is 115. Let's see what we get here. 13 times 7, 13 times 7, 13, 3 times 7 is 21, 3 sevens are 21, 1 carry 2, 7 ones are 7, plus 2 is 9, 91 plus 24. 5 and 9 plus 2 is 11. Oh, what do you know? 115, 115. Our solution was indeed, this side is also 115, our solution was indeed correct, x is equal to 7. But that is an equation. What I'm going to do now is, is to erase everything and put it, this equation under the heading of equation. So, here we go. So this was the equation, 5, the left hand side, the left hand side of the equation is the same expression that you see here, 3, and then equals to this part, 13x plus 24. That is an equation. Now instead of an equation, if we had given an inequality, if we had given an inequality, if we had been told that it is greater than or equal to, instead of equal to, it would be some greater than or equal to, all the solutions that you see, all the work that you see would be same, except at the end we will end up saying that x has to be greater than or equal to 7. This would be greater than or equal to, this would be greater than or equal to, this would be greater than or equal to. Nothing would change. Nothing would change. Now let's do the three that you see in the book. These three that you see are not in the book, those are something I gave you. Now, if you look at the book on page number 80, on page number 80, where it's under the heading of, there are three columns, this is expressions, equations, and inequalities. Let's take a look at them, okay? The first one says y. We're going to start out the simplest one first, one with the one term. That's an expression with only one term. Here's an equation. We are now under the heading of the equation. This was an expression right here. We are in the heading of equation y is equal to 36. But well, that's an equation. It's an equation because it has an equal sign it. We can have inequality. y is less than 36. y is less than 36. You see? An expression, an equation, an expression, an equation, an inequality. Let's do the next one. The next one says 3x minus 5. 3x minus 5 is also an expression but now we have two terms, the first term being 3x, the second term being minus 5, or negative 5 if you like. We can have an equation out of it. We can have 3x minus 5 equals to 70. And that's what you will find in the book. It says 3x minus 5 equals 70. Now in the book they do not actually show you the solution to this, this equation. We will solve it together, just for the hell of it. It's very simple. We want to get rid of this 5. It's a negative 5. We want to bring it to the other side. We bring, the, bring it to the other side by introducing positive 5 to both sides. As you can see, this negative 5 and this positive 5, they're going to kill each other. And the negative 5, when you bring it to the other side, it appears as a positive 5. So this 3x is going to come down. 3x, this equal sign is going to come down. 70 plus 5 is 75. We divide both sides by 3, and x equals 25. Of course, x equals 25, because everybody knows 25 times 3 is 75. Or, if you like, we could have divided it out. 75 divided by 3. Now, do you know how to divide 75 by 3? 
It's a silly question, isn't it? It's very simple. We do one digit at a time. I won't go into it right now. I won't go into it right now, but if you want to learn how to do your divisions without the help of calculator, watch this series. The series is called Basic Math. Basic Math, it has it has 100 videos in it. Go in the sequence, learn from the very basic to some more complicated concepts. So how do we divide 75 by 3? How many trees does 7 have? 7 has, 7 has 2 trees. 7 has 2 trees. 2 trees are 6. After we take away the 6 from the 7, we have a remainder of 1. What happens to that remainder of 1? That 1 goes and joins the 5 and becomes 15. And 15 has 5 trees. Which is why 75 divided by 3 is 25. There you go, there is your solution. And that is an equation. Now instead of an equation, we could have had inequality. Just like the way it shows in the book here, it says, what here? It says x minus 5 is greater than 70. x minus 5 is greater than 70. Now, we could actually solve this inequality the way it is, but I'm going to tell you what exactly they meant to do. We could have actually solved it here, add 5 to both sides and x will be greater than 75. There is nothing wrong with it. But that is not, I think, that is not what I think the, the writers meant to put there. Before they introduced, before they published the sixth edition with this gray color cover, they had this one on the market, the sixth edition with the red color, which is what you will see me holding in the first 20, 23 some videos. They withdrew this one from the market because it had too many misprints. They corrected the misprints and they published this one. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I believe it is a misprint here. Well, I think what they meant to say was 3x. Why 3x? Because as you can see, they are consistent. 3x minus 5 is an expression. 3x minus 5 equal to 70 is an equation, and therefore it stands to reason that 3x minus 5 is greater than 70, it should continue as an inequality. And if that's the case, solution will be very simple. Instead of saying x is equal to 25, we'll end up saying x is less than 25. Oh, sorry, x is greater than 25, because we have a greater than sign here. And the solution will remain the same as before. We add 5 to both sides. To get rid of this 5, we have negative 5 and a positive 5. We're going to get rid of this 5. This 3x is going to come down. This greater than sign is going to come down. 70 plus 5 is 75. We divide both sides by 3. And we end up saying the x is greater than 25. Just like before, x is equal to 25 because we have an equal sign. x is greater than 25 because we have a greater than sign. Let's continue. Last one in the book. I need the room, so we need to raise all of this thing. Let's do the last one on the book on the top. The very last one in the book looks something like this. It says, it says three times, three times two x plus seven. But that is an expression. How many terms does it have? It has two terms, two x and a seven. We need to distribute this three before we can do anything with it. If we distribute the 3, we have to multiply two ta 3 times 2x, 2 times 3 is 6, so we get 6x, and we have to distribute the 3 with the 7, 3 times 7 is 21. As you can see, there are only two terms. It's an expression because it doesn't have an equal sign. If you introduce the equal sign, for example, something like this, 3, and then say equals to 4x minus 9. Now that is an equation. That is an equation, and we can actually sit there and solve it if you like. Let's do it, shall we? Even though the book doesn't do it, we're going to do it. It's an equation. This we already know when we distribute it, we get 6x. We distribute 3 with 3 and a 7 is 21. Just like before, equals 4x minus 9. We need to bring this 4x to this side. This is a positive 4x. To bring it to that side, we need to subtract 4x from both sides. And as you subtract 4x, this 6x has the positive sign in front of it. This one has a positive sign in front of it. This positive and a negative, they're going to kill each other. And here, we end up with 6x minus 4x, which is 2x. 6x minus 4x is 2x. And we need to get rid of this 21. It's a positive 21, so we need to have negative 21. And 
and if we do that, this 21 is going to cancel out, and we end up saying 2x is equal to negative 9, and a positive 21 is a negative 30. We need the room. I'm going to have to erase this thing. I didn't want to erase it, but we'll have no choice. We have no choice. We need to erase it. Otherwise, it gets too crowded. So we end up saying that 2x is equal to negative 30. Subtract, divide, rather divide both sides by 2. 2 is going to cancel out. And x is equal to negative 30 divided by 2 is negative 15. Now we need to verify it. We need to make sure that it is correct. Let's do it here. By the way, there are many problems like this. If you want to practice these kind of problems with simple equations and inequalities, in these videos here, 1 through 80. Watch them in sequence with a notebook, take down the problems from the blank board, solve the problem first, pause the video, solve the problems first, and then resume the video and then see, uh, uh, the match the solution, compare the solutions that you have with the solutions that you and I come up with together in the video. Do you understand? There are many problems like this. It's important that you get some more practice. You're not going to learn by doing just doing four or five. Let's, let's verify it. We are claiming, this is our claim, we are claiming that x is negative 15. Let's put it on this side. This side we have this thing here. 3 times 2x plus 5 2x plus 7. Let's worry on this side first. I'm not going to actually show every step. 2 times negative 15. You see 2 times x is 2 times negative 15. 2 times negative 15 is going to be negative 30. Negative 30 and a 7 is going to be negative 23 times 3. This 3 right here, it comes down. This 3 comes down. 3 times 60, 3 times 20 is 60, and 3 times 3 is 9, so it's 69. It's negative 69 on this side. Let's see what we get on that side. On that side, we have 4x minus 9. See, 4x minus 9. We better, we better get negative 69 on this side also, otherwise we are in trouble. 4 times x, which is negative 15, minus 9. 15, 15 times 4 is 60. 15 4 is a 60, but since we have a negative here, 4 times negative 15 is negative 60. Negative 60 and a negative 9, what do you know? Negative, negative 60 and negative 9 is indeed 69. That solution is correct. But that's how you would solve it. And instead of an equation, instead of an equal sign, if we had an inequality sign, nothing would change. Nothing would change. I'm going to go now, and everywhere you see equal sign, I'm going to replace it with, with uh, what you see in the book there. They have less than or equal to. So let's do that. It's nothing is going to change. Instead of an equal sign, we have less than or equal to, less than or equal to, less than or equal to, less than or equal to. Solution is still the same. Everything is the same. And here, we are claiming that x has to be less than or equal to negative 15. x has to be less than or equal to negative 15. Do you understand? I think I want to stop right here. On the next problem, on the next page, you see a problem on the top that they have solved it for you. And then there are three practice problems. Those three practice problems at the bottom of the page, on page 81, and the one problem that you see on the top of page 81, will do in the next video. Okay? Bye now.